Can you provoke your spleen to improve your aerobic capacity? So your spleen is located on the left side underneath the diaphragm, the left side of your body. And you can think of your spleen as your blood bank. The human body is very intelligent that if there's a time of excess oxygen and the spleen will hold on to blood. And if there's a time that the body is demanding more oxygen, the spleen will start releasing red blood cells into circulation because of course red blood cells are carriers of oxygen is what determines your blood oxygen carrying capacity. The spleen contains a volume of about 200 to 300 milliliters of blood and that blood is very very high quality. It's 80% hematocrit meaning that it's got a large proportion of that blood um, which is carrying oxygen. If we do five breath holds that means you take a normal breath in and out, pinch your nose, hold your nose, you walk, you start jogging, etc. You're doing a strong breath hold. Your spleen will sense that the body, that there's a drop to blood oxygen saturation and your spleen will start releasing red blood cells into circulation. And you do your second breath hold, additional red blood cells are released into circulation. The third, fourth, fifth. So five strong breath holds, you can significantly improve and increase your oxygen carrying capacity temporarily because it's during the breath hold the spleen releases red blood cells into circulation and it takes between whatever paper one reads it can be 10 minutes to 60 minutes before the spleen reabsorbs that red blood cell back so say for instance when we're working with athletes I want athletes to have slow breathing to have functional breathing to have diaphragmatic breathing, pre-competition and pre-event. It's very important for anxiety. It's very important during the warm-up. And then we want to add an extra stimulus and have the athletes do five strong breath holds. The five strong breath holds is going to increase blood flow to the brain. The five strong breath holds is going to cause splenic contraction. The five strong breath holds is going to open up the airways. I want the athlete alert and I want to improve the aerobic capacity with good opening and dilation of the airways pre-competition. So we can do that with a pre-competition preparation, slow breathing for the mind to bring the attention into the present moment, to center the athlete, strong breath holds to increase blood flow to the brain, to increase alertness, to open up the airways, to improve aerobic capacity. Then the athlete is a little bit acidic because of the increase of CO2. So we do a breathing technique then to get rid of some carbon dioxide. Then the athlete is ready to go out and compete. They will be at an advantage, certainly above a peer who hasn't done the same warm up protocol. And, you know, like all of the exercise from the oxygen advantage, I want to get those exercises and to incorporate them into the warm-ups that individuals already do, into the practice sessions that individuals already do, into the cool-down, down-regulation that individuals already do. And this way we can incorporate them seamlessly.